Guys, welcome back to my home away from home. We're finally back in the saddle. Gonna hit the mountains here, doing a three day trip. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so that kind of sucks. But hopefully we see some sheep. We got dad over here and Jim and a couple pack horses. Should be a beauty. Well, I think we're gonna camp here tonight. We're just unloading the pack horses, gonna leave them tied up. And go out and look for some sheep. It's a good night. Just spent the last 20 minutes spotting. No sheep. Did see a mule deer. How was it, Jim? Just on our way back to camp. Cooking up some dinner, got potatoes cooking. Jim over here is getting the double whammy. Onions and smoke. <laughs> Ladies, it's manly to see a guy cry, isn't it? Well, it's morning time. It started raining at about 5 a.m. Um, it kind of tapered off now. It's pretty good spotting weather right now. Just looking up at these hills right here. Don't see anything yet. We got a cook fire going. I'm gonna get some breakfast and put the kettle on. And... You know, Dad had a rough night. He came out here and I was wondering why his hat looked so goofy. Put it how it was. <laughs> <laughs> got a couple horses out and grazing. Don't know where Ebony is, but I'm sure she's up there somewhere. Raining again. Trying to get breakfast cooked and then we'll get out and get the horses some water and start doing some glassing and try not to get too wet and cold. The water wasn't hot enough for my hot chocolate. So it's poured enough in to mix the powder down and now we're waiting. Well, we stopped here to spot. That hillside was clear a minute ago. Uh, problem with hunting sheep in the rain. So, we just gotta wait. Oh, there it's opening up. Oh, we're just getting to running water so the horses can take a drink. hard to see a sheep when there's clouds in front of them. <laughs> Haven't seen one yet. Might be a redneck sheep hunter if you're wearing shaps and muck boots while hiking. <laughs> Just got back to the horses. I'm gonna ride back to camp, have some lunch, some snacks, relax a little bit, and then hopefully the rain will calm down. 
we'll go out again. We're all drenched. Jim over there, I think he's waterlogged almost to the, to the brim, quite literally. <laughs> so we're taking our wet stuff off, gonna cover it up in our saddle blankets and then throw the canvas over top of that. I think it's time to have some snacks and go and just relax in our dry tent, but we're trying not to bring our wet stuff in there. Got some wood in here we brought in because we knew it was gonna rain. So it's nice and dry for dinner tonight. We're just trying to dry off. And unfortunately, the saddle pad I was sleeping on is wet. There's a pool of water over there. It is not super dry in here. Dad has a raft he was sleeping on, so he's got the benefit, I guess. Canned meat on sandwiches while we're trying to dry off. We got lots of snacks here. We got a deck of cards. We're set. Doesn't get any better than that. Dad starts. <laughs> hey guys, finally all dried off. And I'm thinking we don't want to go out until the rain stops. We're hoping to go for a ride tonight and maybe bring the shotgun along and get some grouse for dinner. But we're all in our change of clothes that we brought because our other clothes are soaked and it's a little chilly. Yeah, I think we're all just going to be pansies if we went out now and got soaked in this pair of clothes. And so. We're gonna keep playing cards. Three hours till the rain's supposed to stop according to them yesterday. Hopefully sooner. <laughs> Stick my ear. 517, it's finally mostly quit raining. <laughs> Me and Jim just getting the fire going, try and dry our coats and stuff out. And then we'll go out, see if we can get some grouse and spot some sheep. We came out for our evening ride here, took old Betsy along with us and got we got one grouse, we'll cook it up for dinner. Um, about, oh, it's starting to cool off now, so we're heading back and gonna, gonna warm up. Well, we got the grouse frying, frying up in the pan there. Seasoned up with chicken seasoning. I'm excited to see how it tastes. And then we're slicing up some steaks and we fried up a bunch of potatoes and onions. Life doesn't get much better. Morning of day three. Warming up by the fire. It's starting to get light outside. Then we'll head up and hopefully spot some animals. Just about ready to go for our ride for the day.
to the pond. Well, we made it, guys. Guys, we just got camp picked up and getting ready to ride out. Pretty light out still. Good thing it's only an hour ride back to the truck. So guys, we're on our way out now. Pretty much pitch black. I just have trusted my horse. The reins are loose and he's walking. As long as trees aren't whacking me in the face, I'm pretty confident he's on the trail. And then we hit a little clearing in the moonlight, or stars, or whatever light there is. I can see a faint silhouette of the trail. But once we get in that tall timber, no idea.